So in this short video, I'm going to explain to you how you can do video post-production for a lightboard video using Camtasia Studio 9. So first thing we need to do is we need to move our media into our media bin. I've actually already done that. But if you just um, click on Add and Import Media, it will take you to where you are, uh, or it will allow you to search your computer and find where your raw video is. Uh, and I've already done that, I've selected on it. So I'm just cancel that. Okay, so there it is there. And then we need to drag it down onto our timeline. I'm actually just going to slide that one up there and put our video on our timeline here. So if I bring the cursor along, you can see that this is the the lightboard video there. And the first thing I want you to notice is that it's backwards. And that's of course because the camera is on the opposite side of the glass as the teacher who's writing on the board. So when we've got our file down uh, on the timeline, first thing we do is we need to flip that around. So if we click on properties and rotation, we want to rotate it on the Y axis 180 degrees. So we're going to change this to 180, enter, and we've flipped it. Next thing we can do is look at trimming it because as you can see from the start, you see I'm not even in the shot and we don't want to watch me walking into the shot and getting organized. So I'm going to trim all of that off. Now these spaces here, as you can see, this is the trace for um, the audio. And so where we've got a spot like this, it means that there was no audio. And for me, that's usually a, a cue that I need to do something with my video. See, I made a mistake here. And decided to restart the whole video so I'm actually going to remove everything before this point simply drag the green cursor we get to this point here click on delete you just press the delete button and then drag it back into place if we just scan through a little bit a little further we can see there's uh, a few spots where I, let's have a see what I do here, okay, where I'm actually writing and I'm not speaking. So sometimes what we want to do there is actually speed up the writing. So I'm going to show you two ways to do it. First one is just to delete the writing, the, the action of me writing. Okay, so I'll just show you me writing first. Okay, so you might want to actually just remove that and so to do it you need to highlight the area you want to remove just like that and then press delete and it goes another thing you might want to do though is actually just speed up the writing so this area here we've got no speech that means that I'm writing so we need to actually split the video at that point and this is the icon for splitting so we just click on that for split and we'll do the same thing here at this next point and click on split. Okay, now if we click on the middle part, we want to um, speed up and then right click, we will get clip speed, add clip speed, and it allows us to adjust the clip speed. So instead of one times, we want to do three times. So it's going to be three times faster. And as you can see, it's actually um, trimmed it down, obviously, so it's a shorter period of time. And then I just need to drag the other one into place as well. At the end, we want to obviously trim off any of this business here at the end of me walking off, etc. And we delete that. Oops. Now, I obviously deleted the whole thing, which is not what I expected. So just go up to undo no harm done right so once we've done that we actually need to produce it and we click on share um, and I'm going to go to custom production now this is just a trial version that I'm using so it tells us that we're going to have a watermark I'm just using the trial version because I haven't actually bought the full version yet but I will so produce with a watermark and we're going to choose to do it as a WMV. Uh, let's do MP4 is the recommended format. So we're going to go to the MP4. And 
we can play around with this, but we're not going to just at the moment. We're just going to go next, next. That's what we're going to call it. And now it's going to render. So that'll probably take, I don't know, about two, three minutes, depending on the size of the video. And then you've got a file ready to upload uh, onto your learning management system or onto YouTube or anything you like.